Hi, squaddies. Can you guys hear me? Give me a thumbs up to let me know that you can hear me. <laughs> How you guys doing tonight? This live stuff is so weird. I mean, it's not easy. You would think it would be, but it's not. <laughs> Give me a thumbs up. Let me know that you can hear me. Hey, squatties. Special K is in the house. I thought I'd check in with you guys because, you know, whew, there is so much going on in the world of success, right? I mean, there's just so much going on. Thank you guys for the thumbs up. I see that you guys can hear me, which is awesome. Great. Wonderful. Welcome, welcome, and welcome to Success Talk. We're doing a live chat right now. Um, I thought I'd check in with you guys because like I said, there's just so much going on in the world of success, right? I mean, <laughs> girl, so much going on. But if this is the first time that you're joining us, um, this is Megan, Duchess of Advocacy channel. And, you know, we do a lot of live podcasts entitled Success Talk with your host, Special K Thoughts, right here. Um, so we're going to have a chat, make it short and sweet. I'm not going to be on too long uh, because usually, you know, I think this is the first time ever I've ever done something live on a Thursday night. OK, so that lets you know that obviously I'm off tomorrow. Right, right. So I'm going to go ahead and look into the chat, see who's here. You know, this is a short notice, so there's not going to be a lot of live people in the chat. But I just want to say hi, squatties. Hashtag success squad. There's been like a huge bullet on our backs, right? <laughs> but we don't care. They think they could scare us. I mean, I don't know what makes them think that they could scare us. Us, the success squad. <laughs> but anyway, let me go ahead and look into the chat. Okay, I, I, I see a lot of the usual suspects. Um, but again, like I said, I'm going to make this short and sweet. I'm not going to talk too much. But I just had to check in with you guys because there is just like so much going on in the world of success, right? I mean, let me go ahead. What I'm going to do is I'm going to be looking on my, my iPad and be looking up news on, you know, our fave, the Duke and Duchess of Success. So um, those of you who are listening, hi. And those of you in the chat, hi. I see you guys. Hey, Susie Q. <laughs> Again, I see a lot of the usual suspects, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. Because one thing about the Success Squad very, very, very dedicated squad, right? Very, very, very dedicated squad. But um, you guys heard the news today? I mean, the news that came out about the Duke and Duchess of Success today, I was like, ah! awesome, awesome news that came out today, right? I mean, actually, there's been a lot of news that's been coming out about them. But um, the news that came out today, it was like, awesome, awesome, awesome. But let's go ahead and start off by talking about our favorite prince, right? Our favorite prince, the global prince, right? Um, what the Success Squad likes to say, Princess Diana's only son. <laughs> you know, them, those arrangers, they think that's very disrespectful when we say that. And at the end of the day, we don't care, right? Do we care, squatties? Do we care? No, we don't care. I mean, they really think that we care what they think about us, right? They. 
They really think we care what they think about us. And we don't. We don't care. Right? Because nobody sent for them. But anyway, I'm going on my iPad right here. Actually, you know what? Maybe I should go ahead and use my laptop. I got a lot of, you know, electronics around me. So um, let me go in here. Hold on. All right. Well, again, I don't want to keep you guys too long. Let me go ahead and go on my iPad. It's probably better. So you guys heard about Prince Harry, right? I didn't get a chance to see it. So if there's anybody in the chat that actually saw it, uh, let me know. But I did not get a chance to see it because I was at work. Um, but <laughs> our favorite prince, right? Better up, uplift 2024. Okay. So better up they had some type of summit some type of conference right so i'm looking on the arts world website okay so it says on the arts world website you know actually well hey i mean it's arts world but actually it's the success.com right so today prince harry the duke of success and chief impact officer cio of better up hosted an insightful conversation with CHROs at Better Ups Uplift Summit in San Francisco. I love San Francisco. I grew up around San Francisco. Um, it's been a minute since I've been out there, but um, San Francisco is my type of town. And you guys know that I am a huge 49ers fan, right? And I am a huge San Francisco Giants fan. So anyway, he was joined by organizational psychologist and Better Ups chairman of the Center for Purpose and Performance, Dr. Adam Grant, and Cisco's chief people officer, Kelly Jones. Right? This year's summit, which centered on courageous leadership, provides a unique forum of C suit leaders, business executives, and HR professionals and advocates. Right? So, really, the session was about it was entitled Beyond Burnout. Okay, who's burnt out? Anybody in the chat or anybody listening burnt out, right? I mean, every once in a while I get burnt out. I really honestly do. Um, and, and it's a normal thing to get burnt out, right? But the session, Beyond Burnt Out, Transforming Sea Level Stress into Strength. Okay, again, I didn't get a chance to watch this, but if I heard that it was very, very, very good. Okay, so it examines how sea level leaders manage the unique pressure of their roles, build resilience, and foster a culture that supports sustainable performance. Okay. Again, I didn't get a chance to, to see this or watch this, but I've heard nothing but absolute positive things about this conference. And my gosh, how relatable is this? Seriously. Okay. How, how relatable is burnt out? Right. It's like, no matter what profession you're in, right. Even if you don't have a job, even if you're a stay at home mom or stay at home dad. I mean, <laughs> burnt out is real, right? It's a real thing. So um, I'm sure that this conference went very well. I've heard nothing but positive things about it. And my gosh, hand clap for Prince Harry, right? Hand clap for Prince Harry and hand clap for better up. Okay. He's doing some serious work. He's doing some real work and he's doing work that um, we can all relate to and, and work that we all um, can connect to, right? This is universal right here. Service is universal. That topic, burnt out, beyond burnt out and turning it into a strength. I mean, that is relatable. It's connectivity, connectivity. Connectivity is so important. Remember when um, the Duchess of Success had her miscarriage and when she wrote her op-ed? Right. And she talked about connectivity, you know, in the world and how important it is. Um, read that op it again. I was reading it the other day and my God, I was like, wow, just an excellent op ed that um, the Duchess of Sexus wrote uh, when she had her miscarriage. But um, beyond burnt out. Again, many of us can relate to it. And um, again, big ups to Prince Harry. Chief Impact Officer. Big ups to Better Up. Okay, Better Up is doing some great work. Obviously, it's a very successful uh, business and it's a very positive organization. And um, 
I'm really, really proud of Prince Harry. And I'm also very, very proud that the main office is in San Francisco, California. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go ahead and look into the chat and see who is in here. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I see you. Cz Q. Hey, Miss Lydia. How are you? Good to see you. I'm glad that you, um, obviously you got the notification. So I'm glad to see you here. TCC son. Hey, how are you? How are you doing? Miss joy? Miss Lottie. Hey, Miss Lottie. How are you? Hey, Patricia. How are you doing? Hey, 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 TCC son. Thank you so much for the donation. Appreciate it. We here at Megan Duchess of Advocacy, you know, we put that money right back into the channel. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, let's see who else is in here. Hey, Carol, how are you? Hey, Beverly, how are you doing? How are you? Cinderella, how are you? Miss Joy, Miss Judy. Hey, how are you? I'm going to go ahead and spell your username because I've seen you in here plenty of times. It's, I think it's Y-A-L-I-B-I-N-D. How are you? Thank you for joining us. Lorna, how are you? Calm, how are you doing? Mina Ruth, good to see you. Good to see you. Jeanette, how are you? Let's see, TMCD, how are you doing? Just want to say hi to everybody, everybody, everybody. I love you. I love you all. I really honestly do. It's, oh, sis, how are you? It's good to see you. Glad to see you. Hey, sis. I'm talking to VS Speaks Royally. Let's say, hey, Faith. You were here earlier. You were one of the first ones here. How are you doing? <laughs> Nothing but loves and hugs, loves and hugs. Hey, Miss Karen, how are you? All right, all right. So we talked about our favorite global prince, the People's Prince, Prince Harry, and Better Up and the summit that they had recently in San Francisco. Um, it was called Beyond Burnt Out, Transforming Sea Level Stress into Strength. Okay, that's very important. And we all get burnt out, don't we? Burnt out is real. Okay, self-care, guys. Seriously, self-care. Okay. How you doing, Sylvia? Welcome to the chat. Veronica, welcome to the chat. How are you doing? All right. So what do you guys want to talk about next? Hey, C-Mac. How are you? What do you guys want to talk about next? Hmm. How you doing, Terry? Let's see. Let's see. I know. So let's go ahead and talk about, um, I'll continue on the R12 website. I'll go ahead and go to news. I'm on my iPad. Look at that. I just, I just love <laughs> their website. The sexes.com website is, I mean, they, you talk about upgrade. Right? I mean, they really, really upgraded. All right. So we go ahead and press news because there's just so much going on in the world of sexes, right? So here we go. Two new R12 productions. I know you guys heard about this. How are you doing, Angela? Welcome to the chat. I know you guys heard about this. Francilia, how are you doing? Two new R12 productions. Okay. Two new R12 productions in the works for Netflix. Let me tell you something. Whenever you hear the naysayers in the media saying, oh, you know, the Duke and Duchess is success, you know, Netflix is not happy with them and they're hanging on to, to Netflix. You know, they're hanging on to that deal by a thread. Don't pay attention. Don't. When they say stuff like, you know, um, uh, oh my goodness, the two um, other docuseries that they did on Netflix, you know, the um, Invictus. I'm getting tongue tied here, but the We Are Invictus docuseries that they did and they said that it was a flop it was not a flop okay it wasn't it was a success all right come on netflix knows what they're doing okay they know that the duke and duchess of success have their finger on the pulse okay a lot of people right love positive you know, docuseries or, you know, positive shows. Not everybody wants to watch 
nothing but drama <laughs> on Netflix. Okay, so don't listen to the naysayers saying that you know the Duke and the Duchess is success. You know, the the only success that they've had on Netflix is the docu series. That's not true. Okay, the Heart of Evictus was successful. It did the numbers that it was supposed to do. Okay. So right now I am on the Archwell Productions website. Archwell Productions. Again, great news came out today. Archwell Productions is pleased to share that two new nonfiction series are in the production at Netflix as part of its multi-year overall deal. One series curated by Megan, the Duchess of Success, and in partnership with the Intellectual Property Corporation. Ooh. Oh my gosh, my phone is trying to restart. <laughs> oh my gosh. My phone decided to update. Why? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I am so sorry about that. All right, let's go ahead and resume where we were at. Hopefully everything is working okay. I hope you guys can hear me. <laughs> okay, so give me a thumbs up. My phone is acting weird. Give me a thumbs up to let me know that you can hear me. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> All right. So what were we talking about? We were talking about Arch World Productions, right? We were talking about the good news that came out today, right? My phone still seems like it's a little jinky because it looks like my lips are not moving with my mouth in sync, perhaps. But we were talking about the two new projects that were announced by Archwell Productions, right? All right. So, and I think I was talking about the naysayers and how they were saying that, you know, the Duke and Duchess, they're holding on by a thread with their Netflix deal. Well, obviously, that's not true, right? They've had plenty of success, plenty of success, plenty of success on um, the Netflix deal, okay? The six-part docuseries was a success. The heart of Invictus, don't let them fool you. It did the numbers that it was supposed to do, okay? And um, there are other um, docu-series. What was it, was it, what was it called? Live to Tell? Somebody put, put that in the chat. Now that is one that I did not get a chance to see. I have to admit, I didn't see that one. All right, so moving on, moving on, moving on. Because again, I, I don't usually do live podcast on Thursday nights. So there might be another um, pro success channel doing something. So I'm going to go ahead and move on. Welcome back, guys. I'm glad you guys stuck around. Sorry about that. My phone decided to upgrade all of a sudden. So here we go. So r Productions, it's pleased to share that there are two new non-fiction series that the Duke and Duchess of Success are working on, right? And um, it's part of their production deal with Netflix, right? So one series curated by Megan, the Duchess of Success. Okay. She's in partnership with the Intellectual Property Corporation. Okay. And they are a part of Sony Pictures Television. Wow. That's huge. We'll celebrate the joys of cooking and gardening, entertaining, and friendship. <laughs> Guys. She's back. Our girl is back. Okay. See, those of us fans, okay, who knew Megan way before she was been thinking about Prince Harry, right? Those of us who 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 have been around, right? Who 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 knew her when she was on suits, who followed her on the TIG, right? This is what she was doing on the TIG. 
Okay, now I'm not going to sit here and act like I was fanatical, okay, about Megan back in those days, but I was a fan. I used to go on the TIG, okay, and this is exactly what she was doing. This is what we've always wanted for her, right, guys? So anyway, <laughs> she's back to doing her thing, Okay. So again, we'll celebrate the joys of cooking, gardening, entertaining, and friendship. The other shot primarily at the U.S. Open Polo Championship in Wellington, Florida at the USPA National Polo Center. So I kind of jumped ahead. Okay. But Megan, she's going back. She's going back to doing her thing, which she did on the TIG. Okay, cooking, gardening, entertaining, and friendship. Okay, hopefully she does some traveling too. Okay, that she'll highlight some traveling that she will do because that's what she did on the TIG. Okay, so that's what Megan, Duchess of Success, will be doing. Okay, that's one of the non fiction series. Okay, that they're working on right now. Okay, for Netflix. Megan is going to be working in partnership with Sony Pictures Television. Okay, so the other one. Okay, the global prince, the people's prince, Princess Diana's real son, <laughs> Prince Harry, he's working on, okay, Polo, which is awesome, 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 awesome. So Prince Harry will be working on, um, I guess you could say it's a reality TV show, I'm not too sure. But he's basically going to be highlighting and talking about polo, okay, which is awesome. See, these guys are doing things that are dear to their hearts, they, things that they know about and things that they actually do in real life. Now, I'm really interested in watching Prince Harry's new show about polo. I am. Because one thing about polo... Polo, when it comes to diversity, has really changed over the years. It really, really, really has. Okay, so I'm looking at the Arts Wolf website, you know, and it says that in regards to Prince Harry's polo show, that he's going to be highlighting professional polo, and he's going to have like unprecedented access to the world of polo okay i don't know if prince harry is going to actually be featured in it more than likely he'll probably be seen every once in a while hopefully playing polo wouldn't that be awesome i mean of course it would be awesome um he's going to be highlighting different players different teams at the highest levels okay so that's going to be awesome okay and prince harry i mean come on he's been playing polo ever since he was a kid so even though he's not a professional player i definitely would say that he's probably an expert in that area wouldn't you guys say i would hey everybody welcome back to the chat i am so sorry that we went fade to black but for some reason my smartphone decided to go ahead and upgrade right while i'm doing a live podcast <laughs> crazy huh Oh my gosh. But anyway, welcome, welcome, welcome back to the chat. I'm glad you guys were able to come back. But yeah, I'm looking in the, ch in the chat right now, see what you guys are talking about. And um, let's see here. Yes, Angela, I am too. Angela Simmons says, I'm glad Megan is back. Me too. I mean, she's back. She's back in her own element, right? She is. She's back in her own element. Um, I mean... Both shows are going to be successful. They are. They just are. Because um, Megan has done this before. It's just that she didn't necessarily do it, I guess you could say, live on TV. However, Megan has been on TV, on different TV shows, cooking. Right? And, <laughs> and this is what I mean. I mean... This is not new to us. It's definitely not new to her, right? I mean, she's been on TV shows cooking. She's actually been on TV shows, you know, as a judge. On cooking TV shows, she's been a judge. She's been a featured judge. So this is going to be natural to the Duchess of Success, okay, when it comes to cooking 
entertaining, gardening, right? I mean, she's got a huge garden at her house, right? And just fellowship, friendship, okay? And that's the part I can't wait because I remember when Megan actually had one of her college friends, okay, on the TIG. One of her college friends that she went to college with at Northwestern University. And this, this person, this, 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 uh, friend was actually, was, was an African-American. Okay. She was an African-American female and she was very, very pretty. And I believe that she had like her own products. Um, but you know, she's, she's had her friends on the TIG. Um, and she's interviewed different people on the TIG. So it's going to be awesome to see who is going to be featured on her show. And which cooks that are going to be featured on her show as well. I mean, Megan has 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 interviewed and cooked with very famous international chefs. Okay, so that's going to be awesome, awesome, awesome. All right. So, and then, you know, of course, Prince Harry. You know, kudos to him to be doing a show about polo. Okay, the inside world of polo, because you really don't see too many shows about polo. You really honestly don't. And so I think it's going to be great um, when he, you know, goes into the world of polo and has unprecedented access to the world of polo, professional polo. Um, It's going to be great. And like I said, the diversity in polo has really, really, really changed. It really has. I mean, you even see like African-American females playing polo now. Okay. And um, I mean, it really is an international sport now. It's not just known as a blue blood sport. It's an international sport. So I'm pretty sure he's going to be featuring all kinds of, you know, different polo teams. And, you know, my God, we all know that Nacho is going to be on there with his fine ass. I know he's married, but damn, he's fine. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, if you guys, welcome to the chat. Um, got quite a few people listening, which is awesome. Again, I want to keep you guys too long. And don't worry, don't worry. I'm going to do another live podcast. I'll either do it Saturday or I'll do it Sunday. Um, let's see here. Let's see here. I'm just looking at the comments. Um... Uh, Joyce says, hi, Joyce. Joyce says, you know, Harry will have Nacho in his polo piece, which will be good. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, let's see what else. Yes. Yes. Please don't forget to like, um, do a thumbs up. Please don't forget to do that. Let's see. What you guys are talking about. So Miss Karen says, I'm happy for her. This is what we want for her to live her life and get on. I love it for both of them. Freedom. Absolutely. Very, very, very well said, Miss Karen. That's all we want is for them to live their lives and be happy and to get on with it. Just just get on with it. Right. And that's what they're doing. And for some reason, the naysayers criticize them for getting on with their lives. I mean, you know, you guys claim that you know, you can't stand them and you hate them and you don't want to be publicly supporting them or financing them. Well, number one, you're not publicly su- supporting them financially because they're not working royals. And, you know, they have to make money. They've got to feed their family. They got to feed their kids. And it's just odd to me that, you know, they get just they get so much hate when they announce different projects that they're doing. It's like, well, what the hell do you want from them? I mean, like, seriously, don't pay attention to them. It's really that easy, right? It's really that easy. Anyway, I don't, I don't want to spend too much time on that. Let's see. What else are you guys talking about? Let's see. Hey, Carla, Carla, thank you so much for the donation. <laughs> I love your super sticker. That is so cute. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Carla. Appreciate it. Let's see. Everybody's saying hi to you, Joyce. How you doing, Joan? 
Nice to see you. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bray Bray. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you for the donation. Let's see. Miss Lottie. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's cute. <laughs> it's so cute. All right. I'm looking at the, I'm just looking at the chat. Oh, thank you so much for the donation. TMCD. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Lorna. Hey, Miss Diane, how are you? Lorna, thank you so much for the donation. I love your super sticker. <laughs> Hi, Lady Ann, how are you? Okay, so awesome. See, the Duke and Duchess of Success, they're doing their thing, right? They're doing their thing. They said what they're gonna do and now they're doing it. So there you go, okay? Netflix obviously saw something in them and Netflix, right, was correct in doing a contract with them, okay? Megan, Duchess of Success, her show is going to be successful, okay? Prince Harry doing a show on Polo, awesome. It's going to be good. All right, moving on, moving on, moving on. So what do you guys want to talk about now? What do you guys want to talk about now? Let's see. Let me go ahead. I'm on my iPad. Go to Google. What do you guys want to talk about now? Thank you, Sylvia, for the donation. Yes, Spotify was a fool. They're lost, right? I can't wait till Megan's uh, podcast comes out because you know it's going to be good. Like, you know, the Duchess of Success, she's going to have a lot going on. She really honestly is because she's going to have her podcast, right? She's going to have the Netflix, right, um, show. And then she's going to have ARO. Okay. Hopefully she's going to have, not hopefully, I mean, she will. She's going to be launching ARO. So, I mean, she, she, but see, that's the Duchess of Sexes. That's nothing new, right? That is nothing new. I was looking up because somebody just sent me a message. Um, that's nothing new for her. She's always worked. She's always been working. That is nothing new. Think, think, think about it. Remember, when she was on Suits, she was doing the TIG, right? When she was on Suits, she was on other shows, cooking, right? So her having her hands in different multiple pots is nothing new to Megan, the Duchess of Success. Okay, nothing new at all. So awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, what do you guys want to talk about next? Because I know I'm missing something. Because <laughs> there's just been so much going on. It's like, woo! Okay, I'm looking to the chat. Let's see. <laughs> Ms. Jones says all the success squads should have a party when Harry and Megan are pronounced billionaires. <laughs> They're on their way to it. Right? They're on their way to it. But you know, for those two, it's not about the money. They can care less about the money. You know what I mean? They just, they just, they just want to do what they want to do, which is service. They want to live a life of service, but at the same time, they have to have certain projects going on so they can make money, you know, and maintain their lifestyle, right? I mean, it is what it is. Okay, so Beverly says, I think we will hear the new podcast by the end of the month. The month of May is when she will start her new IG, ARO. It will be very, very busy, the next eight to 11 months, remember Invictus will be starting in February. Like I said, those two have a lot going on, but it's nothing new to the to Megan, the Duchess of Success. It really, honestly, it's nothing new to her. Okay, I'm going on X. Okay, so I know you guys heard 
okay, about, I'm on my ex feed. Let's see. I mean, Megan, the Duchess of Success, she is all over my ex feed, guys. All over. All over about the, the announcements. Let's see. <laughs> I love it when my feed looks like this. Harry and Megan. Harry and Megan. Harry and Megan. That's that's that that's that's all I see. Oh my god. Harry and Megan. Ugh. I just saw a picture of Maureen. <laughs> Harry and Megan, Harry and Megan, Harry and Megan, Harry. You guys heard OJ Simpson? <laughs> you guys heard about OJ Simpson? <laughs> let's see. Harry and Megan, Harry and Megan. Let's see. Oh, okay. So let's go ahead and talk about because she just popped up. <laughs> scammy. Let's go ahead and talk about scammy. Okay, what happened with Scammy? <laughs> so news came out that Scammy, aka Samantha, Marco, Yvonne, Grant. <laughs> How many names does Scammy have? <laughs> We're going to keep it short and sweet about Scammy. Why, why, oh, why, oh, why? But apparently she filed an appeal. <laughs> I mean, she knows that the judge dismissed her case with prejudice, right? So you can't appeal that judgment with new evidence, right? But apparently she filed an appeal asking for Kate Middleton, Kate the Saint Great Middleton, to write a character statement. Like, really? Again, not going to spend too much time on that. Just pathetic. Scammy is so pathetic. And it just goes to show how she's really doing this just for the publicity and the only reason why she keeps on going after the Duchess of Success is because she wants to be that close to royalty okay and for her to be pulling in Kate the Great Middleton asking her for some type of character statement witness statement just goes beyond the pale. But you know what? I'm not surprised that Scammy would do something like that. This is somebody where there are actual court documents that was indicated for child abuse. Okay, there's court documents saying that. Okay. Now, of course, she's going to say she never abused her child, but that's not what her child said. Right, but anyway. <laughs> Moving on. All right. So what else you guys want to talk about? Jones says, scammy is insane in the membrane. <laughs> we wouldn't hear from these people. Okay, let me, okay let, me, let me ask you squaddies this. Let me ask you squaddies this. Squatties that knew Megan the Duchess of Success way before she was thinking about Prince Harry. Squatties who knew Megan. Okay, she, she was Megan. She was Megan Markle. Okay, Squatties who knew her while she was in suits. Okay, and when she was doing her thing on the TIG, when she was on the Today Show, you know, when she was on uh, Rachel Ray, you know, when she was going to, to, to Wimbledon to see, you know, Serena Williams play tennis. Okay. Megan, squatties who knew Megan. The whole time that you knew Megan, was anybody aware that she had a half brother and a half sister? 
Seriously. You can tell, be honest. Because I wasn't. I had no idea that she had a half brother and a half sister. None, zilch, I had no clue. None. I always thought that she was an only child. I mean, like she says, I was raised as an only child. And I mean, you know, I knew she was biracial. And the reason why I knew she was biracial is because she said so. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I've known Megan was biracial since 2000 and probably 11. I saw her on some talk show and, you know, that she said that she was biracial. She said that her mother was African-American. And I remember the host was like, oh, really? Wow, I didn't know that. And she was like, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, I'm looking in the chat. Did anybody, oops, 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 oops. oops. Did anybody know that she had a half brother and a half sister? Okay, I see comments in the chat saying, no, not at all. Hell no, I had no idea that she had siblings. Right, I honestly had no idea that she had siblings, none. I never heard her tell a story about, you know, ha you know, having siblings. I've never heard her refer to her half siblings. I never heard her say, you know, I've got an older half brother and an older half sister. Just never, ever, <laughs> I never knew it. I, I had no idea that she had half siblings until she got engaged to Prince Harry. I had no clue. Okay. When Megan was on Suits, did her half siblings, you know, were they on TV trashing her? Well, my life. <laughs> I got a lot going on tonight. Now my lights are trying to flicker out. Um, because obviously while she was on suits, they didn't keep in close contact. And they didn't seem to have a problem with that. Right? Obviously when Megan the Duchess of Success was doing her thing on suits, Scammy and Junior didn't seem to have a problem that they weren't keeping in contact then. So why all of a sudden is it a problem now? Because of who she's married to. That's why it's a problem now. If Megan Duchess of Success married a basketball player, if she married another actor. We wouldn't hear from these people, but because she's married to a British prince, they mad because she wouldn't acknowledge them. <laughs> and this is my thing. If she's such this horrible person, right? She's this narcissistic, mean, you know, cruel, evil person. Then why do you want to be associated to her? Like, why? Everybody knows now that she's your half sister. So why is it so important for her to acknowledge you? Why? Because of who she's married to. That's why. And it's so funny because they think just because they say positive things about the royal family, that they're in. They really believe that. You know that, right? They think just because they diss her and call her all kinds of names, call her out her mouth, you know what I'm saying? I mean, just really degrade her and dehumanize her and say wonderful things about the royal family, say wonderful things about Prince Charles, I'm sorry, King Charles and, and Catherine. They think they're in. <laughs> They really honestly think they're in. They think the royal family cares about them. They really honestly think the royal family cares about them. I'm talking about Scammy and um, Junior with his pathetic ass, his pathetic drunk um, wife, um, fiance beaten ass. They really honestly think that they're in. Anyway, let me move on. <laughs> let me move on. Let me move on. I said I was going to move on and I'm still talking about them. All right, let me go ahead back in the chat.
Right. Right. Lorna says, when Megan was married to the TV producer, we never heard a word from her assemblies. It's true. We never heard from them. Just never, never. I guess because she wasn't famous. Okay, let me, let me. The reason why we didn't hear from the half devil spawns is because she wasn't famous enough for them. All right. That's why we didn't hear from them. She wasn't famous enough for them. That's why we didn't hear from them. Okay? Mm -hmm. But they want to call her narcissistic. Right? All right. Enough about the half Devil Spawn's siblings. Okay, so did you guys hear about... Um, I guess she's a rural reporter or a rural commentator. What's her name? Anna? You guys heard about Anna? <laughs> Let me see if I can find it. I know you guys heard about it. Oh, look at Prince Harry. He looks so handsome. I'm back on my X page. Let's see. I know you guys heard about it. That's right. Miss Lydia says Anna's spilling tea. Right? I got to find her name. Let's see. What's her last name? She's got dark hair. And sometimes she wears glasses. But she's still, she's spilling tea. Boy, she's, she's really spilling tea. She's a, um, she's a rural commentator, a rural reporter, a rural biographer, just rural whatever. She's one of those, right? Um, spilling tea, just really spilling tea. But she was the one that had wrote an article. What is it? Okay. Success Spotlight. Hello. I like that name. Success Spotlight. You guys be coming up with some very clever names. Anna, is it Pasternak? That's her name? Anna Pasternak, Mac. <laughs> you guys know I'll be jacking these names up, right? But um, she's spilling tea, y'all. She's spilling tea. Okay, Spill, spilling the tea. She's one of those rural reporters, rural commentators. You know, she's written rural books. She writes rural articles, puff pieces. Um. So she's spilling tea. She had written an article. You remember the famous article, right? That she had wrote for Tatler. Um, big time puff piece about Kate the Great, the Saint, can do no wrong, Middleton. But it wasn't the puff piece that Kingsington Palace wanted. Right? And she had said some things about Kate the Great Middleton that will not and cannot did not like, right? They didn't like it. I mean, she said some things about Megan, the Duchess of Sussex as well, some negative things about her as well. But I mean, Kingston Palace, they was pissed. They was pissed at some of the things that Anna had written in this piece about Kate the Great, okay? And they threatened to sue. <laughs> they actually threatened to sue her or th sue Tatler or whatever, right? And she, I guess she went back and changed some things. But what pissed her off was the fact that um, the Daily Mail had written this article, okay, and they named... Anna, whatever her last name is, Pasternak. Um, they named her in the article. And she basically did this interview saying that the only 
peep the only people who could have briefed the Daily Mail about that whole situation was Kingsington Palace. She said she didn't breathe the Daily Mail, and she said she knew Tatler did not do it. So it had to have come from Kingsington Palace. And so she found out that Kingsington Palace called up Tatler and some royal staff from Kingsington Palace met with some executive from Tatler, right? And they basically threw Anna underneath the bus. <laughs> and I guess she's mad because Tatler told her something about don't say nothing for four days or something like that. And she didn't. And the next thing that she knows is that there's this article in the Daily Mail, right? Throwing her underneath the bus. So she's spilling the tea. She's telling it all. Okay. I mean... I think it's wonderful. I think it's lovely. But where everything that she's saying is nothing new, right? It's nothing new. It's nothing new, okay? But basically what she's saying is, is that, yes, Kingsington Palace leaks in briefs. And, yes, that the monarchy has a very unethical relationship with all of the editors of these British tabloids and British magazines and the British media. They have a very unethical relationship. Hi, Black Queen. Um, and the agenda is, and the agenda will always be that these British tabloids, these, these, these British um, magazines, even the British mainstream media the law is that they are never to say anything positive about the successes. They're always supposed to have some type of negative spin when it comes to the successes. But when it comes to will not and cannot, scrolling bones, wills and Kate. The prince and princess of, Cam is it Cambridge? Is it Kate, Kate, Wales, right? Whatever, right? When it comes to those two, they are always, are, they are always supposed to support them and report nothing but positivity. She said it with her whole mouth. She said that that, is the agenda. That is the agenda. Meghan and Harry don't have no chance with the British media. The law is that it has to be spun in a negative way. Okay. But see, this is nothing new. This is nothing new to us. We are, we, it's obvious to us, right? It's so obvious. They lie about everything, okay? Megan's podcast was a success, and they lie, 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 and spin it like it was a disaster, and it was not successful when it was successful. Thank you, Sharon. <laughs> right? Oh, there's a troll in the chat. Is there? Poor thing. But anyway, um, Miss Anna... I guess it's Pastor Nat, Pastor Matt, Pastor Nat. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but, I mean, she spilled the tea. All right, she spilled the tea. She said that the royal family has a relationship with all of the British editors. And the deal is you trash the successes, no matter what. You trash them. But you always report positive things about Will and Kate. Okay. So, Prince Harry was right. And hopefully more British 
whatever commentators, royal reporters or whatever come out and back her. But I don't see anybody backing her. I just don't. I don't see anybody backing her, unfortunately. Um, but that... <laughs> That's pretty sad. That's pretty sad that people who say that they're journalists can be so unethical, you know, can be so unethical. I mean, it's a propaganda machine all day long. You know, she was saying, I mean, if you have a chance, you know, really listen to the interview, listen to it. I, I, I suggest you listen to the interview. Um, you know, she was just saying that, you know, it's all about protecting the monarch. That's what it's all about. You got you. You have got to protect the monarch and who's ever next in line. She was saying that that's that's what it's all about, you know. So. When she said that, I was like, you know what? I bet you there's just so much undercover, dirty shit that Prince William has done that we have no idea about. Um, imagine all of the dirty, rotten, sneaky, nasty stuff that Prince William has probably done. Maybe even racist stuff that he's done that we have no clue about because they're protecting him. Think about it. <laughs> That's a lot to think about, right? Isn't it? It's a lot to think about. But um, yeah, I mean, look up the interview. I'm generalizing, of course, and probably not being really clear on what she said, but she said a lot. And, and the, the summarization of what she said was that these British tabloids, the British press, even the mainstream um, British press will lie for the royal family. They will. They'll lie for them and they won't tell the whole truth for them. And they will do anything to put a positive spin for the monarchy, the monarch, and who's ever next in line. But when it comes to Harry and Meghan, the law is you always spin it in a negative way and you always trash them. That's basically what she said. Hi, Black Queen. Thank you for the donation. And Black Queen says, hey, Special K, everyone, unfortunately, the bronchi oops, oops. the bronchitis never fully left me. Oh, no, you had bronchitis? And returned full force about three weeks ago, waiting on um, pulmonologists and immunologists. I probably didn't even say that right. Referrals, COVID long haulers, it seems. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear about that, Black Queen. I hope you get better. I'm sorry to hear about that. And thank you for the donation. I'm glad that you're up listening. <laughs> I hope you feel better, though. It sounds like a, yeah, I hope you have a speedy recovery. I do. I do. Hi, Dakota. Let's see. Yes, get better soon, Black Queen. Let's see. Is Catherine a troll? But, um, I mean, that's sad. That's sad that... Well, it's not sad. Why am I using that word? It's... This is the way I look at it, right? Prince William must have really low self-esteem. 
and he must know that he ain't shit knowing that the British press has to lie for him in order to make him look good. If you are in agreement with the British press lying for you and making this deal with you that everything that they put out about you is nothing but positive press just for access to you. I mean, you ain't shit. In my opinion, you just ain't shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, and obviously there's a lot of jealousy and envy going on. Right? Of course everybody wants positive press, right? I mean, of course, I mean, you know, if I was in their shoes, I would want positive press. Absolutely. But for people to lie for you and trash your own brother. You know that. You know that these people are trashing your own brother just to make you look good. You ain't shit, Prince William. Like, for real. It's like, you know that. You participate in that. You know these people are trashing your own brother, trashing your wife, just to make you and your wife look good. Why can't you just do that on your own? Why can't you just look good and be able to, you know, create positive press on your own without them having to attack your brother and trash your wife? Because you ain't shit. <laughs> you ain't shit. I mean, every, everybody wants positive press, right? But he's literally, Prince King Charles II is literally relying on them to trash their brother and their wife, son, sister-in-law, just to uplift them. It's not that hard to get positive press. Just be genuine and keep it real. Be seen doing service and you'll be okay, right? <laughs> anyway. All right. <laughs> I'm looking in the comments. What time is it? Woo. All right. I'm not going to keep you guys too much longer. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go back into the comments. Beverly says, William has a mental problem and needs professional help ASAP. Yeah. I think it's his upbringing. He's been told ever since he came out the womb that he's going to be king and that no matter what, he's the best and he can do whatever he wants. And um, it's, it's, it's jacked him up because in my opinion, Prince William knows when he's compared to his brother, he ain't shit. <laughs> he knows that Prince Harry is, 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 he's smarter. I think Prince Harry is smarter than Prince William. I do. I really honestly do. I, I think that, I mean, just compare the two. Seriously, compare the two. Compare the two in regards to what type of impact that they've had. Um, in regards to what they've actually done and accomplished. Seriously, put, put Prince William up against Prince Harry. Seriously. And compare them in regards to um, what their successes have been and what they have done. Like, seriously. There's really no comparison when you think about it. Prince Harry, right? Just out the bat, ever since he was a teenager, Right, Sintabale. 
right? I mean, he was a kid. He was, what, 18, 19 years old when he started that? Okay. Um, what else? Sent the Of course, Invictus Games. Um, I, I don't care what nobody says. It was Prince Harry's idea when him, Kate the Great Saint, Middleton, and Baldy Locks got together and did, what's it called? Is it is it mine? Minds together, what's it called? The the mental health um, organization that they came up with. Trust me, that was Prince Harry's idea. Trust me. That was Prince Harry's idea. Okay. That. Um, Prince Harry, you know, he was in the military. Served 10 years. Two tours. Afghanistan. Right. He's just done so many projects. And involved himself in so many, you know, just different um, nonprofit organizations, you know, that provide services to those who are, are less fortunate. Um, Prince William, he talks a good game, but he really honestly has no results. Um, Earthshot, <laughs> no matter how much they try to hype that up. Oh, wait, wait, wait. back to Prince Harry. Travel East. How did I forget that? Right? Let me press this. You guys' just comments. Heads together. There you go. Thank you, Sex is Live. Or Love. Sex is Love. Heads together. Trust me. Prince Harry, that was his idea. Trust me. Um, travel uh, list. Prince Harry. Right, so you got Travelist, Invictus Games, you got Sit the Ballet, right? Heads together, that was his idea, trust me. Trust me. <laughs> Look at the Archwell Foundation. Look at. Sorry, you had lost me again. But look at the Archwell Foundation. They have accomplished so much in such a short period of time. Again, <laughs> compare Prince Harry's accomplishments, his impact to Prince William. Seriously, I'm serious. Okay, seriously. There just really honestly is no comparison. They can hype Prince William up all they want. There's just really no comparison. Prince Harry is the man. King Harry. <laughs> all right, guys. What else do you guys want to talk about before we go ahead and go? I'm so glad that you guys joined us. Yeah, Prince William is lazy. Think about it. What the hell is he doing now? Last time I looked, he was drinking. Okay, this, this dude, Prince William, he couldn't go to his own godfather's funeral. <laughs> right? When was the last time he actually worked? Seriously. His daddy who's got cancer is working more than he is. Yes, he is. Prince William is absolutely senseless. Yes, Gwendolyn, you're absolutely right. Is that what he's doing? Judy says he is in a bar negotiating with Carol. I think, to be honest, I think that's true. Yeah, you guys know that, you know, news came out that Prince William and um, Kate the Great St. Middleton's mom was in a pub drinking together. How, squatties, how long has Prince William been married to Kate the Great St. Middleton? How many years? How many years? 
And now all of a sudden, all of a sudden now, we see Prince William having drinks in a pub with his mother-in-law. Okay. Okay, Prince William. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. Somebody else told me that um, the pictures just came out with him at some game with his son. Great. Awesome. Wonderful. I'm glad he's spending time with his son. But you see the propaganda? You see it? You see how they're rolling out the propaganda? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Rolling out the propaganda? Mm-hmm. Trying to get used to us seeing him as a single dad. That's what they're trying to do. Okay? <laughs> anyway, back to our faves. Um... Anything else you guys want to talk about? There has been a lot going on, and I'm probably missing some stuff, but I'll do another live podcast. I'll probably do it Saturday or Sunday night. Um, I know somebody don't got RRP OJ Simpson in my chat. <laughs> Is that a troll? Let me see. I put them in timeout because <laughs> I don't know if they're a troll or not. I didn't put any um, restrictions on this live chat. I forgot. Usually I'll put a restriction on it. Thank you, Joy. Thank you for the donation. Um, yeah, I think that they're trying to get as used to seeing Prince William as a single dad. I really honestly do. <laughs> And that the drinks that he was having with Carol, yeah, they probably was negotiating something. Who knows? I just think it's odd because those Prince William has been married to Kate the Great, Saint Middleton, Perfect Angel, Middleton, for for years, more than a decade, and you've never. I don't think we've ever seen him out alone with his mother in law. So trust me, that's some type of propaganda bullshit that they're trying to come up with, in my opinion. Um, and let's see. So Prince Harry is supposed to be going back to the UK, right, to launch off the 10-year anniversary of the Invictus Games. I wish he wouldn't go. I really honestly do. I, I don't want him in the UK. Um and I really honestly don't want Megan in the UK. And I pray that they don't bring their kids. Um, so that'll be cool. That'll be a good look for Invictus Games. Um, of course, we got Megan's podcast coming out. And just some really exciting things when it comes to the world of sexes, right? Some really good, exciting things. And I'm just... <laughs> I'm just so happy that our girl is back to doing what she loves to do right she's back to doing what she loves to do no so i'm looking in the chat so c matt says did we discuss bbc oops did we discuss bbc rejecting freedom of information requests about the bench video no i didn't know about it i really honestly didn't know about it really the BBC is corrupt, okay? And I knew that the BBC wasn't about shit when they did the caricature of Megan the Duchess of Sussex stabbing Kate the Great St. Middleton. And that's when I knew. I said, oh, shit, the BBC ain't shit. They, this is not a credible news organization. Oh, I, I was like, fuck the BBC. <laughs> that was a long time ago. We all remember that, right? The Duchess of Sussex. They first of all, they had darkened her skin. Uh, Megan, the Duchess of Sussex, has never in her life ever been that dark. Um, and they did some type of caricature of her stabbing Kate the Great Saint Middleton. And it's my understanding the person that actually wrote that skit out was Nigerian. I don't know if that's true, but that's what I heard. 
Um, speaking of Nigerians, I heard our favorite um, um, I'm going to be nice because I started to call her a name and I'm not, I'm not going to go there. But um, our, I, I heard our favorite person of color who was on GBC News who, you know, loves her wigs, did another rant, over the top rant about Megan Duchess of Success. And I heard that she was just going crazy. It was wild. I heard her rant was wild. <laughs> I just don't understand. I don't get it. Please, Lord, help me get it. Why do British news people and commentators think they look, think that they're really doing something when they go on these rants about making the Duchess of Success? I don't get it. it to me, it's it's wild and it's unnatural and it's weird. Right? It's weird. It's like you really getting upset about somebody that you really honestly don't know, that you've never met, who has no impact in your life, who's never done nothing to you personally. Like, why are you in your feelings like that? It's just weird to me. Ugh, it's like, ugh. <laughs> it's so clownery and buffoonery. And it, especially when you see like older white British males like just losing their shit. Like seriously, losing their shit over Megan the Duchess of Success just because she opened an Instagram page. Or they're losing their shit just because she went to go visit sick children at a hospital. Literally losing their shit. It's just so wild to me. I don't get it. It's the over-the-top Fox outrage. It's just wild to me. But anyway. Um, and in the meanwhile, their favorite duchess. Or is she a duchess or is she a princess? Whatever the fuck. Whatever. is not well and she's getting preventive cancer treatment allegedly yeah allegedly I still don't know if I believe that story I hope she's okay I do but I don't I don't know I don't know if I believe that good night Lottie I really honestly don't. I don't know if I believe it. I don't know. I hope she's okay. I do. I hope she's okay because she's got kids. But um, I don't know. I don't know. Let me look in the chat. See what you guys are talking about. Is it? Yeah. You guys know who I'm talking about. Nana. What is wrong with Nana? Seriously. What is wrong with her? Is it a self-esteem issue? Cause she said, I'm pretty sure she's an accomplished person, educated, you know, I don't want to down the system, but why is you spending 30 minutes of your time on television ratting and raving and bitching and complaining and moaning and getting so mad and angry, upset over some who's never done nothing personally to you. Come on, girl. Get a grip. Angela, you don't believe it? It's a lot of questions. She's a house ninja. <laughs> Six is love says Nana's a house ninja. <laughs> Nana needs to calm down, man. I just don't understand all the heat and all the hate. <laughs> Ain't 
And you know, Christopher Boozy, he he's saying he's saying the 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 walk about Windsor Farm thingy. He's saying that that's a hoax. He's saying that is not Kate. <laughs> And now a lot of people are saying that the video of her announcing that she had treatment and now she's getting preventive, preventive cancer treatment. They're saying that that's AI. So if that's true, then that means literally no one has seen Kate the Great Saint Middleton since December. And there are reports that are out that say that her own staff hasn't seen her. You know. So, hmm, a lot of stuff going on, a lot of stuff happening. Um, I wanted to ask you guys before we go ahead and go, because I had no idea. I I I had no idea. I had no idea that success.com was being featured on the world website. Did you guys know that? I didn't know that. I had no idea. So. Why? (laughs) Oh, another thing I want to say. Is his name Tom Quinn? Tim Quinn? Man, stop lying. Stop with the lies, Mr. Quinn. Just stop. This man just lying and lying and lying. Lying. You guys know who I'm talking about. Oh, such as love said, I do not believe Kate is no longer among us. <laughs> oh, she among us. She ain't she she here. She just She's here, but she's not here. Hey, Eleanor. Hey. Tim or Tom Quinn, stop lying. If I see you in person, I'm going to slap the dog mess out of you. Stop lying, dude. This man is just coming out with all kinds of bullshit. All these articles about um, how Prince Harry, Mrs. Kate, the great saint, can do no wrong, can move mountains, perfect, never steps a foot forward, Middleton. Stop with the bullshit, man. Stop. He's the same dumbass that said that um, Will Not and Kenyon asked the successes to bring their kids over. Dude, stop. Man, these people just lie and lie on top of lies. I think his name is Tom or Tim Quinn. Stop. She could be in coma. She, I don't think she's, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. To be honest, I don't know. I really honestly don't know, but I just think there's a lot going on. I do. I think there's a lot going on. Um, and she and she's made it clear that she is not going to be seen in public. Okay, she made that clear. Um, anything else you guys want to talk about? So we talked about scamming. We talked about um, the great news. <laughs> the great news about the two announcements. Um, the two projects that the Duke and Duchess of Success are working on with Archwell Foundation and Netflix. Um, I shouldn't say Archwell Foundation, Archwell Productions and Netflix. They've got two new nonfiction series coming out. Our girl is back. It's a beautiful day. Our girl is back. Megan, the Duchess of Success, is working on a series where she'll be cooking, gardening, 
entertaining, and fellowship friendship. The TIG 2.0. Our girl is back. Ah, just makes you feel so good. It really does. Who is the fool that put R.I.P. O.J.? Is this another troll? What the fuck? Get the fuck out of my damn. God dang it. Get the. Put this fool in time out. 24 hours. Talk about some R.I.P. O.J. What the hell? <laughs> What's wrong with these people? What is wrong with these people? That's probably Maureen. Maureen's probably all up in my chat. Yes, our girl is back. Doesn't it make you feel good? Doesn't it make you feel good? Our, our girl is back. She's back. All right, guys. I'm going to go ahead and end this live podcast. I might do another one tomorrow night. We'll see. Um, I think right now, because it because the I subscribe to a lot of pro Megan podcasts, and it did come up that Royal Success is doing a podcast right now. So I'm going to go ahead and in this live podcast. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I am so sorry that my phone updated <laughs> during the middle of the podcast. My bad. But uh, we'll do this again. And um, I'm going to leave you guys with this. Continue to wear the SS on your chest because you know squatties are the best. All right. So I will see you guys soon. And um, dang, I have to look because I don't even know how to end these on my mobile phone. I don't, even, <laughs> I don't even know how to end these podcasts on my mobile phone. Well, I guess I'll just press X, right? That's what I'll do. So again, continue to wear the SS on your chest because you know squatties are the best. I will see you guys again either Saturday or Sunday. Okay, so until then... We shall meet again. You guys stay safe. Don't, the, don't let the naysayers kill your joy. The Duke and Duchess of Success, they are doing great things. Okay? They are doing great things. They're doing positive things. They're doing positive work. Okay? They really, really are. Because burnt out is real. Okay? Burnt out is real. Okay? So, glad to see better up. Um doing um having a conversation about burnt out and um i just love prince harry i just i just love that man <laughs> and our girl our girl is back yes yes all right you guys stay safe no bad energy feed the chickens continue to wear the ss on your chest and I will see you guys either Saturday or Sunday, all right? Bye, squaddies. You guys have a good night. I love you. I love you all. And the success squad, hashtag success squad. We don't die. We multiply. See you guys soon. Bye.